Welcome to the American Rambler with your host, Paul Grafton. Well, are you aware that there is a Facebook group for sperm donations? It seems a little odd. You can steal sperm. You can have a group uh, to recruit sperm donors on Facebook. You can uh, trick men into fathering children. You can even have a no contract, no, I mean, a contract saying no contact, no, no, uh, no visitation, uh, relinquish rights so you don't have to worry about child support. Then 10 years later, the mother that you donated that can come back to you and ask for child support and then be forced into paying it. Um, while I am pure fa in favor of adoption, I think uh, before this option of sperm don donation or renting a womb, which is something that is illegal in America, but not in other countries, uh, I believe adoption should come first. I know everybody wants a little kid, the little baby, you know, the baby is so cute. But think of it, can you just imagine avoiding the terrible twos or or not having to change a diaper? Elaine Bird wanted a second child. The longing began after a hectic period in 2015 when she cared for three children under the age of two. Her daughter, Amber, and her relative infant twins, fortunately, Elaine, a kindergarten teacher in the suburbs of Memphis, like babies years earlier she fostered several children at least with infants there were no midnight calls from the police no fights in the street instead there were court dates doctor's appointments paperwork elaine needed more help than ember's father was willing to give and after they'd had the twins for a couple of months she left him caring for the children was easier on her own which doesn't mean it was easy Oh, really? I'm wondering uh, what she did to make everything harder. And did she trick him into that child? Because it sounds like she was 20 when uh, the child and going to school. One day she drove by uh, church. His lawn was stood with crosses representing the souls of aborted feces. She called the pastor. In my house, there's a couple of babies that could have been aborted. She told him, now they're here, and I have to go to work. The next morning at 6.30 sharp, a lady from the church showed up to watch them, and she came back every day after that. Well, here's the thing about that. Those were your choices, and those were your choices. You could have bought uh, uh, contraception. There's so many contraceptions for women these days. And believe me, men would love to have contraception. And some of them have even gone as far as to having a vasectomy so as not to be tasked with unwanted children. Okay. Uh, she wanted to get pregnant, but now she didn't need a man to raise a child. Ah, no, that is completely false. You do need a man to raise a child. That's... Okay, I look at uh, Warren Farrell's 55 benefits that a father uh, shows to a child. Now, here's the thing. You're complaining that your last boyfriend, husband, who you married at 20, was no help at all. Guess what? At 55, you know, those benefits that Warren Farrell mentioned. So is one of them is on how to be a good father and how to be a good parent. So yes, you do need a man to father a child. It's not othering like the left wants you to believe. So continuing down with the article, and she just took me under her wing and told me everything Elaine said, all the real raw detail, like mattresses and house plants, uh, Sperm donation has been disrupted by the internet. Now, 
we've seen what you've done and we've seen what you've done to the children and the fact that you are not requiring fathers. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and I am going to say the same thing because I am the son of a single father. My mother died at, uh, when I was very young. So I'm going to say you don't need a woman to raise a child. Cue feminist harpies. They no longer meet the bank's strict standards, and non-white donors have always been underrepresented. I wonder why about that. As an alternative, many people are turned to social media for direct-to-consumer sperm. Oh, really? Via Facebook? Uh, groups like the USA Sperm Donation, Real Sperm Donors, and Miracle Babies. Their members include potential donors as well as people who want to get pregnant but don't have ready access to viable sperm. Infertile couples, queer couples, trans men, single mothers by choice. Okay. In the groups, they seek donations from people like Christian, six foot one, slender hazel eyes, excellent sperm count, recent STD test, and Alex, six foot three, perfect SAT scores at the like. Oh, so it seems like you want these designer babies. Okay. I highly recommend the movie Gattaca for this. Facebooks are much more open. A donor might show potential recipient. Oh, just remember, Mr. Donor, about how two lesbian couples divorced and one of them ended up with a kid and is now suing the father, even though the contract says he relinquished and they promised not to go back after him for child support. And guess what? Now he owes 10 years worth of child support. And unlike sperm banks, where a single specimen can run upwards of 1,000, uh, provide the donors for free other than reimbursement for travel and other expenses. Uh, the idea is known as donor appeal to Elaine. Okay, so the opportunity is to uh, ideally she decides she wanted a donor who would remain in friendly loose contact with his offspring. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I cannot see that as a father, I'm not a father, but I've seen many men being in pain, not being able to raise their own children. Uh, I think the idea of these Facebook groups are hor horrible. AI meant artificial insemination typically performed using a soft cup, a vessel that looked like a diaphragm into which the donor ejaculated, and I stood for natural inseminations. Uh, so, though the groups had tens of thousands of members between them, the donor pool wasn't as big as it in initially seemed. Three quarters of sperm donations, USA members, were people seeking don donors. Good, the men are wisening up to what these women are really after. There were donors who stuck, who struck her as genuine. They talked about how they joined the groups after watching their friends or sisters struggle. And then there's this one white man whose name kept popping up. Uh, Aaron Nagel, 46, was tall with blue eyes, a white smile, and soft gray curls. Over the past decade, he had more than 50 donor children and was something of a celebrity in the world. Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah, in December, Elaine messaged Ari on Facebook. When he didn't reply, she reached out again. Hey, I've been trying to get with you for a minute, she wrote. She told him that she had some questions for him. Sure, he replied, you can ask anything. Okay. Eric Nagel grew up in Monsey, New York, home of one of the largest communities in the United States. He was the fifth of seven children. At the, he attended as a boy. Everyone in the class looked exactly like him, while Ashkenazi Orthodox boys uh, seemed confident that they knew how a family was supposed to look and behave. When he was in college in St. John's in Queens, New York, a hefty salmon from a motorcycle accident, which he used to travel to dozens of countries across Europe, Asia, and Media East, seeing so much of the world made it hard to stay religious. So he returned to the city 
Well, this is the background. When his son was a toddler, Harry saw an ad on Craigslist for a lesbian couple seeking sperm donor. He thought, why not? Maybe he could conceive a daughter, too. A few weeks later, a single woman he knew needed a donor and agreed to help out, create a list of donors. So he's like a massive donor. Gave, I guess he's fathered enough children to form a small town. Uh, town. I was saying the article's virus on Flaring made a big point out of the fact that some of it. Irish donations had happened in public restrooms, and some of the monuments came off as shallow and trashy. I wouldn't be surprised me, okay, so they're trying to say, oh, being a sperm donor to a single mother who's going to later claim a whole bunch of taxpayer resources supported by men who pay 200% of the taxes to this. I'm sorry, but this article is just too long and too cringy to go over the full time while saying they don't need no man and then 20 years later you're going to have the spawn of Karen and Karen's all over. I put the link in for the very long, long Esquire article, but what do you think about the sperm donors and the sperm donor groups on, on Facebook? Don't forget Check below for to order a t-shirt.